This is one of my favorite pieces. Uh, I've only done this technique once, so I want to have a go at recreating this today uh, with a different color palette. Uh, this was made using the Cloud Pour mix, uh, which has some satin enamels in it and some titanium white. I've got the deep gold mixed with some 24 karat gold, titanium bluff light, blue black indigo, lime green, the bright blue, and some Amsterdam turquoise mixed with a little bit of the Deco Art Aquamarine. Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona. Let's get started. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. This is my cloud mix and I'm going to apply that first. Like I said, I've only done this technique once. Um, it's, I think uh, people are calling it the dream cloud, or uh, at least Molly's artistry did. Um, she's the first person I saw do this. So it's kind of a mix of my favorite two pores. <laughs> it's probably why I liked it so much. Um, which is the pearl pour and the swipe. Uh, so I'm just playing around a get, I guess. I might leave that. I've got my my main goal here, a colour palette, is um, like a teal turquoise. So let's put this through. Now I'm looking to see if I'm getting that sort of cloudy look next to. See, that seems thick too. I'm going to add a tiny bit of water to that. Because with my swipes, I tend to go a little bit thicker. Um, so it's perfect for a swipe, but because I want to take advantage of this cloud mix, I, I want this to be a little bit thin as well. Now, I need more teal because that's supposed to be my dominant colour. So you can see I'm just being quite random with my colours. Let's get some more of the line down. That's got the metallic through it. Alright, I think we might start swiping. Now I think this time I've actually I've put a lot more strips through. Let's try this. Let's 
pretty. Now that's interesting because that didn't really do what I wanted. using a smaller palette knife. Struggling to get what I want through there. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to add a little bit of colour. don't like this here. I might try this white mix through there. I think that helped. Get some of this pops of green coming through. I'm going to swipe these colours through there. That is really pretty. And I like this going through here and this here. So if I can get something good going there using my swipe mix, I want some more gold. I think that's probably going to do me. Oh, that's pretty down there. See, all this good stuff's on the outside. All right. Let's work out if we can keep that and that. So I'm going to tilt the, this way a little bit. So that I can lay down extra paint. All right. It doesn't look like much now, but sometimes when you stretch it, it just turns out marvelous. See, did I just do that? Can I do that? All right. That's not what I was planning to do, but I've done it anyway.
I honestly think that my paints were not runny enough. Okay, now I do want some gold, I think, to so this. Let's add some little pearls. This hasn't really turned out the way I was expecting. So I'm going to add a couple of little pearls. I don't know if they're going to work though, because I suspect my paints were too thick. Oh! going to add to it. I'm sure I'm not going to drip on it. Nice. No, I think I think this is looking good doing this. So I'm going to take the blue up here. Wow, just got to be a little careful because I've already stretched it obviously. don't know if I want to do any more. I like that I've created a few fine stuff through this part. So I'm thinking about going through there with the dark because I like the way this turned out here. I wouldn't mind it just a little bit through there. All right, let's do it. little bit of darkness through there. I think that will lighten up as these open up though. So I'm not sure whether this one worked very well. I might take a piece of green through as a stripe. Okay. See how this uh, turns out. I think that helps incorporate those little bits in actually as well. Okay, here is the wet result. I've let it sit for a little bit to let some of the pearls 
develop and what are my thoughts on this one I don't like it as much as the last one I my I didn't get the feeling with the teal or the turquoise that I wanted um, maybe I should have had to go up blending the colors a little bit more I'm hoping that this one is actually going to dry nicer than it is wet because I'd like to see it a little bit darker and maybe it'll show some of the other colors through once it dries so I mean I do really like this bit through here so I'm not sure whether I got the consistency right I think maybe the um, the white needed to be a little bit thinner perhaps so there is some nice stuff in this but it's the overall look that I don't think I've got right this is quite interesting through here but we'll have a look when it dries and maybe I can add some touches afterwards to give it a bit more color so I'll show you when it's dry okay here is the dry result and I added some color a bit more color to it and it's given some shine some extra shine through there which is pretty cool um, so what do I think of the piece I, I'm not sure there are parts that I'll quite like so I do like the way this lacing turned out through here um, and I like this little patch through here but this isn't great oh, there's a few little cells up there mm, and the gold it sunk I would have preferred that the gold had come out so all these areas where the white's sitting over the top of it yeah, so I'd love to know your thoughts, what you think of this one. Um, I The next video is going to be, I'm going to be doing the biggest canvas I've ever done. And I have actually already filmed that one. And um, yeah, I had a big accident. So you'll have to keep an eye out for that one. Um, so I'll see you all then. Bye.